introduce you to my book. Oh, good book. Though it might at first appear like many books you've come across, it is far from ordinary. Oh. You may, therefore, have some misunderstandings about its nature. Not like other books. The story that awaits you has not been fully told. Oh. In fact, its conclusion is not yet known, even to myself. Oh, mystery. It is in that way that my book is special. It is in that way that you are special. I'm special. Without you, there is no story. Oh, it's just like Kubo said. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Beacon Pines. This is a game I've had on my wish list for ages, and it finally came out. I was going to play Exocolonist again today, but I couldn't pass up a chance to play this, and also I am very running out of time. I cannot recall the whole video of that right now, but I can record this. So let's get into it. Chapter one. Normal isn't what it used to be. Oh. This is a story about change. Nestled in a shallow valley is the town of Beacon Pines. Beacon Pines! Far from the town square, across the river, past the neglected welcome sign, a young boy walks alone at dawn. Oh! His name is Luca Van Horn, and like you, dear reader, he's here for a reason. Aww. Oh, is it for the grave? Whoa! Hey, Dad. How are things going? Today's the first day of summer vacation. I start middle school next year, I guess. I was six years old when you died, and it's been six years now. From here on out, you'll have been gone longer than you were here. It feels like that should mean something. Mom always said this tree was your favorite spot in the world. Me too. Oh, buddy. Oh, who's that? Hey, Luca. I knew I'd find you here. Rolo was Luca's closest friend. Oh. He possessed many fine qualities, but subtlety was not one of them. I can already tell. Well, after I banged on your door until your gran answered, and after I checked the pond, and climbed up to the treehouse, then I knew I'd find you here. The tears welling in his friend's eyes, and the flowers on the grave. Oh, yeah, right. You're, you and your mom always did this on your dad's birthday. Yeah. I didn't know if you were going to keep it going now that your mom's gone, too. Dude, subtlety! She's not gone! She's just... missing. Sorry, I, I meant to say she went missing. She's gonna come back, Rollo. Of course she is. I don't know if he believes that. Okay, Dad. See you next time. I think I'm ready to get out of here. Sure. Lead the way. Oh, we can move around again. Come with me, my friend. Ooh. I'll run through the dandelions. Oh, bless you. <laughs> Tickle! What's that do? Wonderful! I had a good feeling about you from the moment you opened my book. Oh? The charm is a very special thing. Very special indeed. Keep hold of it for now. Its purpose will reveal itself soon enough. Ah, okay. I'm gonna... I wanna get all these dandelions. Get the dandelions! All of the dandelions. If they respawn, I'm gonna be sad. <laughs> no, they do! Alright, fine. Ooh! Oh yeah, I almost forgot. The whole reason I was looking for ya. I was wondering if you'd ever get to that. I found the perfect way to start our summer. How's that? Trollo looked to the side suspiciously. Not here. They might be watching. They who? Shh, not so loud. We need to do this in a secure location. Mission control. All right. I just have to tell Grant and then we could head out. What are you going to tell her? I don't know. I'll think of something. If it's all the same to you, I'll meet you with the welcome sign. Your Grant still kind of wigs me out. I don't do well with new people. She moved in like half a year ago. Just meet me at the sign when you're done. Suit yourself. 
I won't be long. All right, bye. Tell Gran before heading out with Rolo. Good, I will. I'm a good, I'm a good child. Oh, and then we have a to-do list, and we have Tickle. Dear Whoa! Me, forgive me for this interlude. Hey, I'm looking at the cool house. Remember that charm you found in the dandelion patch? I do. There are more of those special charms to discover throughout Beacon Pines. They've been known to reveal themselves to those who are willing. Oh. Some of them can be found in this very house. Oh, gimme, 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 gimme. I want all of it. Since Gran had moved in, the house was more peaceful, more orderly, and more covered in flowery fabric. Oh no, the granny fabric, don't I know it. What do we got? His father's old stethoscopes. Luca had spent countless hours listening to anything and everything with it. Aww. Not for years, though. Oh, Maybe we should take it with us. Ooh. Oh, he's so cute. Ponder. Got another charm. Whoa, that slide. Grand had already lit the fire. She kept a warm house, as if by grandmotherly obligation. Oh, uh, always obligated. Now, where is Grandmama? Is Grandmama? Oh, just some dusty knickknacks. Grandma. Grandmama. -ma -ma. Oh my! This is quite exciting. I am now certain that you are the one I have been waiting for all these years. Really? You'll recall I was a bit coy regarding the use of charms earlier. You were. Excuse me. I tend to have a flair for the dramatic. You are about to encounter your first turning point. A turning point? There are certain times in this tale when everything hinges on a single word. Oh, you have to pick the right one? Step forth, dear reader. No. On the other hand, I suppose there's no reason to rush things. Exactly. <laughs> I'm going inside. I want to. S I have to find more things. An array of prepared meals crowded the refrigerator, each labeled with the day of the week. Aw, oh, Grandma really is orderly. A pair of dull scissors, a broken can opener, a mostly empty bottle of blue, Ah, the junk drawer. Every grandma has one. A yes, exactly. No house is complete without a junk drawer. Oh. I'm just gonna leave that running. I'm sure that's fine. And this looks like a little storage unit. The only piece of furniture Gran had brought when she moved in was an old hutch. Oh. I'll turn that off now. I don't want Gran- I don't want to waste water. Grandma keeps this house in order, after all. I'm not a wet bandit. Ooh! I didn't really like a jump! Luca paused at his parents' bedroom door. He just wasn't ready to go in yet. That's understandable, Luca. You don't have to do anything until you're ready. Gran had commandeered the upstairs closet when she moved in. Some things need shelter from a young boy's mischief, she said. <laughs> I got something from that. Oh, is this my room? Oh, I'm guessing me and Gran. All right, I'm guessing this is Gran's bed. Gran's bed was undisturbed. Luca didn't mind that she had a habit of falling asleep in front of the fireplace. It meant that he could read late into the night. Oh, a rebel, a reading rebel. I approve, I love books. Gran's moving in meant that most of Luca's things had been crammed in the corner. Oh. Luca was somewhat annoyed by the situation. Yeah, why can't we use the closet? What are you hiding in there? Luca tossed on his favorite old sweater. Even though Aww. it was the first day of summer, a chill still hung in the air. Hey, it doesn't matter what day it is. Sweaters are always the best. Chill. <laughs> I think that's everything we can look at right now. So let's go see Gran and see what this whole turning point thing is about. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. I'm back, and I'm not running away this time, but I am going to look at everything else before. Old wheelbarrow. Ooh. Ooh, we can look at all the flowers! Young Luca would spend hours hiding in the bushes, waiting for a chance to jump out and startle his mother. Aww. She always enjoyed humoring him by feigning terror. She probably knew where we were the whole time. Alright, hang on, Gran Gran. A beginner's guide to gardening laid open on the bench. Grandma! Wait, can I? Okay. Hello, Grandma. Hey, Gran. I'm gonna go hang with Rolo for the day. Oh, and look, her sweater's changed even in the cutscene. See ya. Is she gonna let us go? 
Hold up now. Where are you and Rolo headed exactly? Oh, no more special. Oh no. I'm guessing she might be a little overbearing. We're gonna go to Heart for the day. We're going to go Chill for the day. Ponder, hide for the day. I'm gonna go with chill. Just because it sounds like the most, like, it sounds like the, like what a kid would say, you know? It's the first day of summer, we wanna chill. We were just gonna go chill for the day. Yeah, we're gonna chill. This is my Luca voice. We were just gonna go chill for the day. The best lives are built on truth. You boys are always in a hurry to do nothing. We stick to what we're good at. We'll make sure you are done chilling in time for supper. Easy. Hey, we did it! Impressive. You've managed to navigate your first turning point without too much of a mess. That is the power of charms. Oh. A single word can change everything. I think it's time to introduce you to the Chronicle. The Chronicle? Where? Oh. The Chronicle is a record of the decisions you've made. Oh, so our, our decisions have consequences. You can see the turning point which has been revealed. At any time, you can use the Chronicle to go back and invoke different charms, creating new branches. Oh, we, so we can keep going back. Oh, that's so cool. Luckily for us, this is the one and only turning point where the charms won't dramatically alter fate. It's the perfect opportunity to experiment with rewriting things. Wait, it's the only one? Grand, the Grand Jury. Oh, that's so funny. All right. Let's try Ponder. We were just gonna go Ponder for the day. We were just gonna go Ponder for the day. Oh, really? What are you going to, boys going to ponder on such a lovely day, exactly? This was Luca's chance to sell his alibi. Um, you know, big stuff, small stuff, medium, mostly medium pondering. Nailed it. <laughs> Good job, Luca. Well, make sure you don't overburden yourself with a preponderance of pondering. Huh? Oh, forget it. Off with you now. <laughs> Go away, child. We don't want to do that again. All right, let's try one more. But then we'll probably go back to chill. Because that was the one I picked originally. Definitely not suspicious at all. We were just going to go hide for the day. Hide? Traditionally, when one is trying to hide something, they avoid literally using the word hide. Yeah, but it could be like hide-and-seek. Yeah, I guess Rolo bet some other kids that we could beat them at hide-and-seek. See, Luca knows what I'm getting at. Aren't you a little old for that? Hey, hey! Childhood innocence only lasts so long. Let us enjoy some games. It's not like there's much else to do around here. Well, make sure you know your boys are done playing your little game in time for supper. Okay, so no matter what we picked here, we were going to succeed. It makes me wonder... How much more intense the choices are going to be from now on. Yeah, exactly. Totally not suspicious. Off with you. All right, let's let's see. Easy. All right, now that we are back on the chill path, let us go. Oh, and Luca. Uh-oh. You and Rolo stay out of trouble. I know, I know. Oh, totally. Get into trouble with Rolo. Hell yeah, you ain't stopping me, Grandma. My to-do list said so. Oh, I love how he walks in the house. A polite little bye. Little bye. Little boy. Rolo, I'm on my way. Come on, come on. Whoa! Dig it, Rolo. Has he been, like, jumping up and down here the whole time? For a town that saw a few visitors, the welcome was perhaps more grand than necessary. True, but it does match the scenery. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. You know the drill. Don't let anyone discover our secret path. Well, there's a lot of people out here, though. I want to talk to them. Chapter 2. Oh! Welcome to Beacon Pines. For many years, this valley had been a small mining outpost. It wasn't until Sharper Valentine built his fertilizer company that Beacon Pines was established. 
Over the next 30 years, the town had grown and prospered until the foul harvest and his sudden death. Oh no. In the six years since, everyone was simply trying to get by. Oh, that's all you can do, huh? Well, on the note of chapter two, I think that's a perfect place to end this here for today. I'm already really liking it so far. I like the idea of turning points and I especially like that we can go back and try things. I like I love games with choices, but sometimes having to start a whole new save just to try everything again can get a little tedious, so I'm excited to see like what different choices we can make and we can look at them right after if we want to, which would be awesome. So we'll have to see how that goes. But until then, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoy, please consider subscribing. Remember to take care of yourselves, chill, ponder, and hide, and have a good day.